what lossless cut is all about lets you do these uh, cuts of videos so you can have separate lesson videos that are cut out of a longer video really hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about lossless cut and how do you use it to generate lessons for a course by taking pieces out of a long video and just creating little bits in very very quickly so we're going to talk about how you use lossless cut to generate lessons from a big video in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So that's right, like let's say you're recording a, a course, right? You want to do a course, an online course, and you want to take little bits of that course and put them in lessons. Instead of recording a, you know, one hour video on whatever it is you're trying to teach, you want to have separate little recordings now you could do that by recording separate things or you can just record the whole lesson or maybe you've already gotten the video because you did I don't know Facebook live or something like that now you want to split it up so you can use lots of different tools and lossless cut is actually a really really cool and quick and free tool that you can use we're going to talk about that in just a second but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis482.jsgagnon.com and we're, because I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how a law works and um, yeah so we're going to do that in just a second and let me just get this out of the way right over here put it up there and let's share my screen all right so lossless cut what is it so first let's talk about a little bit about what is lossless cut so a lot less lot less <laughs> lossless lossless cut in other words you don't lose any debt any uh, quality from the videos when you use this you can use lots of different tools you can even do it in YouTube right you can go on YouTube you can take pieces of a video out and create a new video you can do that in Facebook you can do the but and I used a tool before called open shot I actually showed you how to use that but today we're going to talk about lossless cut I actually like it better than uh, open shot for this purpose I mean open shot is a fabulous editor but it doesn't it's not really geared towards just cutting out pieces it's a lot harder to find the ends and beginnings and show them and all that so lossless cut is a really cool and it's free so you can actually get it from the Microsoft store or you can go to this link here uh lossless a cut uh actually it's on github so github.com slash uh, mefi slash lossless cut I can post the link and in, um, in the description or on the blog post I'm actually going to do that but as you can see do it does lots and they even have some some help some uh, sample you know use cases here they talk about the features of it everything else on this site it's like I said it's free you can download it um and then or you can use the um the uh, the where is, is that down here yeah the Microsoft or Mac or even it's on Linux it's on um uh on Linux on Windows on Mac they even have more releases for other things I'm not really sure what but yeah it's really a good tool and easy it's actually pretty easy to use so let's just take an example right you got a course that you like I do that all the time I record these long videos like I'm doing right now I'm recording a longer video sometimes I actually go into things I want to I kind of want to help you understand I want to teach and then afterwards I want to cut those up in little pieces like I've done a lot like this one here was a an, a, an episode I did a long time ago I don't even remember where when it was I, I don't don't know if I can see the dates but the thing is that I did this recording and then I wanted all these different pieces right these lessons right uh, this was about syndication creating syndication and you know since then LinkedIn has changed uh, the the platform looks different and I thought I could record um, basically the same process of what I've talked about in these videos but show it 
using the new interface because see if I look at this video here and Lin Lin's this LinkedIn video right here where I talk about let me kind of play this so you can kind of see what I'm talking about if I play this video you'll see that uh, let's turn the volume on on that next thing I do is a LinkedIn post so I go in my LinkedIn account I click on the start a post I go find the text for my LinkedIn in this case it's from the but you know from a browser you could just do uh and I copy all of my LinkedIn text I paste it right in here and then I go and now as you can see this interface is not the same as what you're seeing today on LinkedIn right it's actually changed the the text is different you know the, the buttons are different so I want to update this so let's let's see how would I do that with the recording so I did a recording not long ago that is based last week which is basically the the content so let's show you this one too and I get ready for this and then after so let's just go ahead here a little bit and let's show you the LinkedIn part I've got a video in this video here see how I posted in LinkedIn right here let's just back up a little bit so in LinkedIn it's got a different look right I have a screen so the buttons are pasted in just here click in here and it's it's got to make sure that this is for Twitter and everyone structure paste my format my so we content. want to do the same thing and then I, so let's sh let's do that with loss less cut all right so let me just uh turn where's that get that out of there and let's go to the lossless cut all right so lossless cut when you first open it up it'll just have a, a blank screen like this where it just says drop files in here right and what we're going to do is we're just going to go to this other these videos I take this video here and I just drag it right onto the little uh, black area there and that's really quick it just loads it right up and you can see the the, the frames right so I can go through uh, here and I can just go ahead and it's really really quick at updating this the, the preview and everything else so let's say right now I want to go and I want to take uh from my course like if I look at my course here I have three videos that have to do with LinkedIn right there's the LinkedIn um post itself then there's LinkedIn articles and there's LinkedIn groups right so I have those three LinkedIn things that I maybe I want to replace maybe right so then I go back to my um lossless cut right here and I go to find the beginning of my LinkedIn post right here just I could you know have taken down the numbers and things like that but I'm just going to go like this because I remember it was about there and uh, I can play this right here by clicking the play button sorry and then I a, 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 a vertical video on Instagram so we're going to show you that too so let's just keep going here go to the third uh, and so I click on uh, name my video that's you know once that's automated that has a LinkedIn post and I have so text post. that's ready for it I just take that text okay so now I'm talking about LinkedIn so let me just do that so once you've found where your video that you want to cut out starts what you do there is you just click on this little um I guess it's a thumb up like this there's a thumb up the other side right so one side the other side so you just click on that and it, as you can see right over here it it made that part gray right so now this whole thing is orange now what we do is we just move ahead we move ahead by clicking or you can just play and wait for it to get to where you're looking for right and I can I actually know it's kind of right there and then I post it I click now on next talk and I click post. on post, click post so now that post to there we go so now we have the post that's going to LinkedIn it's being posted I can probably you know uh, my uh, LinkedIn then I go to my and then there we go so we're going to trim it from there to there so you click the second link right there and then that shows you how now this is orange there's this is the this is the the, the first part that you want to keep as a video so now we can keep going right here and let's say I want to go to the groups now the Facebook groups <coughs> so in this video by the way why I'm skipping over is because I'm talking about posting to other pages I haven't I didn't have that in the original so I'm not going to worry about it so then I go here and I talk about how I'm doing groups there it is right here so there now let's just play this here's what I'm saying in the end of the video 
Oof, it's warm in here. Okay, so then I repo. Okay, so that's in groups now. It's the you know LinkedIn is called uh, repost now. It's different than what it used to be. It's not share anymore. It's repost. So now if I that's where I wanted to cut again. So now I click again the beginning, and then now you see there's two different colors, right? There's the 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 orange and then the like tan, I guess. So now again I play post this to group, or I just you know, you know fast forward over to the groups from the in groups. So now I'm just gonna go block you, right? They might notice it. You might get two more to go. They said you might get in groups. So now I'm now just gonna go back groups. to the. I pause that and then I can just click on the end of that. So now I've got two sections, right? I've got section one right here, section two right there. And there's going to be more. I'm going to, to explain a little bit more in a second, but first I want to do my three separations. They're pretty simple, right? So I'm going to keep going over here. And then I'm going to do the LinkedIn article right here. So there we go. So let's just done the LinkedIn post in my profile, the LinkedIn post in my pages, and the LinkedIn sharing to groups. Now, now the next part is so the article. So that's the start of the article. I'm going to click the link right there and I'm going to just let it go uh, until I get to the end here and there we go that's so, it the whole thing that's pretty much it back up here three. click on the link that's thing done. paste the link again apply this the, and then I just we're gonna do click on next section. and in the in the description there I put the same thing about my with the hashtags and stuff I'll take that out of here because that's not there we go all right so there we go and now it's posted as you can see I do the same thing on their videos right <laughs> all right so now it's talking about the Twitter but we're going to skip that for this but let's just do that okay so now we have our three pieces of video that we want lesson number one lesson two and lesson three right there right so what you can do is up here you'll notice that there's segments to export right there so what I want to do here is I want to give them a name right because if I just if I just click an export it'll just save these files with the with the names and timestamps and things like that I mean it doesn't look as great so see if I click on the export button and let's actually move my face out of the way if I click on the export button if I click on the export button that's right down the bottom here on the on the right hand side it'll pop up what it's about to do right give me some options here the output name is going to just be three seg three right um but I want to control that a little bit more so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come up here I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to give it a label a label segment right so now I know that this was LinkedIn uh, profile I guess we can call it profile I forget what did I call it in the course here I called it LinkedIn sharing to my profile article LinkedIn post I guess just post let's call it post then it's called the link LinkedIn post LinkedIn post all right then the second one was the LinkedIn group so let's label this segment right there I'm going to call it LinkedIn groups all right and then the last one was the LinkedIn article right so I'm going to uh, label this LinkedIn article all right so now I've got my LinkedIn article so now if I do the export again I click that export button to get down the bottom there right now it's going to show me the LinkedIn article see right here as an example right so the other thing is I want to change the output instead of being in this folder here I don't want it to go into this folder right I want it to go into some other folder maybe I want to call it whoops that's what I'm doing here maybe I want to call it uh inside of here let's just go into courses where is it courses yeah let's create a new folder here call it syndication and I'm just going to put it right in here in this folder so select that folder all right so as you can see now it's updated this to a new folder that I want in here by the way the keep the true tracks right here that's basically what it's talking about is the tracks in the source video right there's a there's an audio track and there's a video track some videos might have like subtitle tracks chapters um more than one audio track like you know English and French or English and Spanish or whatever or even German or 
whatever other languages right so you can actually edit this and change it so it doesn't keep all the tracks you might want to delete you know the, the the Spanish track out of there if you don't if you don't care about the Spanish uh, spoken word right for example um, but anyways that's what that's for the other thing is do you want to output it well, how do you want to output it I normally just use mp4s and then do you want to merge the cuts or do you want to have just chapters in there and whatever so normally what what if you want to trim if you want to split things up out into separate video files so that you can upload them as lessons you definitely want them separated but if you're doing something like taking a video and cutting out pieces that you don't want you can say merge everything so everything you keep is going to just be put all back together into one video it's kind of like trimming out pieces of video um, and saving it right which you can do with lots of editors but this is so that's what that's for and then uh, the other options here are normally by default right and I thought there was an output name right here all right there you go so if you click on the output name it'll give you what it's about what it's going to do right segment number segment suffix and extension or whatever else it was when you first loaded it. this is probably because I changed it but normally you can click on preview right here and it'll show you the names of the files that it'll actually output for you right and this is probably what you want most times the segment number the segment suffix and the extension and um, I guess the segment suffix it doesn't really tell you what each of these are right but uh yeah is there a there's a down oh that just goes away all right so yeah so that basically lets you choose the format of the output so now let's just say this is all good and you just close this like that and when you click on export oh sorry the, the export button goes bigger so you just click on this export button and now it'll just take those videos that you have and it'll export them as you can see it's going in percentage up here kind of exporting the videos of each of the pieces and you'll end up with whatever whatever pieces that you chose you wanted out of that big video right so once you have those pieces they're separate videos that and they're and the, with lossless cut the quality is actually really good compared to taking uh, other tools and one of the other things that I forgot to mention is that there's a prerequisite for lossless cut which is called ffmpeg and uh, I don't know if it says so on the site here does it say anything about it because it is required so da, da, da. and you know there's like a demo right here uh, typical workflow import export features attribution let's just say ff and because I know it's required so I'm just wondering if it says it unless it's part of it maybe it's included in the tool whenever you install it you might not need to install it separately view ffmpeg last command log oh okay so I guess it does include so don't worry about it I didn't say anything you get you get loss less cut and you'll automatically get what you need to do the uh, the the cutting of your video so once it's done it just goes back to the normal screen but if I go back into my folder here and I go up to where I have my uh, courses my syndication you'll see now I have three videos right here right so if I just do change the view to, to details you can see I have these four videos LinkedIn posts LinkedIn groups LinkedIn articles and now I have I have those three videos exported and I can just use them for my uh, course I can come in here and I can edit this right I want to do this course here I want to edit this I just click the little edit button and then I want to change the video I'm just going to remove the video choose a file and I'm going to upload that video from here this is the LinkedIn post so let's do that and let's just save that so now it's uploading the replacement video and my course is now going to have this video instead of the other one for that lesson so it'll be updated LinkedIn look and feel right and it's as simple as that that's how you replace a video in uh, this is course and clicky course so other platforms are different but if I go back to this and I edit I actually still need probably to edit the thumbnail <coughs> so let's just check 
one of these other thumbnails let's regenerate the thumbnails because this these are thumbnails from the original video so I'm just going to put like six thumbnails <coughs> and then I regenerate them and now I have new video the the the, the thumbnails from the new course right so this is going to be like this one where, there you go and save that so now it's using the new thumbnail from the new course and if I go back to the course now we can see that that video's thumbnail is the new is the new the new video there right and that's how you replace them we want to let's do the other one let's do the LinkedIn article I'm going to replace this one as well um, and change it to the article this one here and we let it upload right here let it replace the video from the original one and while that's doing that uh, let's talk a little bit more so if you were to do a google search for lossless cut you're you're going to find a whole bunch of places where you can download it but i would recommend you go to either the sourceforge which is probably the older version or you go to where if you scroll down here you're going to see there's a place where it says lossless cut website so just go that that takes you to this page which is the official page of the because it's a free tool it's not you know nobody's you, nobody's spending money to build this it's all just volunteers right so it's a free tool it's open source so you can just get it from the website that the source code is on right and okay so now that's done I'm going to edit this again to change the thumbnail and let's regenerate the thumbnails let's say I'll do 10. I want to make sure I, I use a new thumbnail and let's use say this one there we go this one here there we go so now we got the new thumbnail again go back to the course and now I can go and replace the third one which is again the same exact process I go to here this is LinkedIn groups I'm going to edit this <coughs> I'm going to uh like you can remove it it doesn't really matter but if I'm changing it so then it's groups and obviously the name of the video that says one two three that doesn't matter to what the platform because it's going to be the video that I choose that's going to go for that specific lesson since I'm replacing lessons it just replaces the video with the new video for that that same lesson it doesn't really matter what the file name is uh, that's really more for you to organize what it looks like right I'm going to go back in here I'm going to say I want some new thumbnails and then I'm going to pick one of the new thumbnails for this and then that's then we'll be done for this I mean I can certainly talk about other things so is there one that looks like a group share Let's see if I can find one that's look through these all right do that and now we have if I go back to the course now we have the three new videos that were just as you as you saw it was really simple right to take that full video and take out these three videos out of it so that I have now new videos for this course <coughs> for LinkedIn article for LinkedIn groups and for LinkedIn uh, post it's using the new videos you can see that my uh, you know shirts not the same as this one because it's new videos from a from a new series and yeah so by the way if you want this fastest syndication process course which explains how to generate the um how to generate the it's normally 17 dollars 150 but for you watching this right now you can actually get it for free and what you all you need to do is you need to know the coupon I have a coupon right here cis482 if I go and go to that link right syndication um clickecourse.com fastest syndication process 120 coupon is cis482 um if you go ahead and you know pause this video you'll be able to you know cut and paste this just you can put this coupon right in the page if you want it'll give it to you for zero dollars all you have to do is log in and you then you can just add to your library then you automatically get this course which basically talks about the syndication process how to post to 
tons of platforms in less than in like 30 minutes right and that's kind of what this is all about if you want that all right so yeah so that's that and uh yeah so I mean <clears throat> what else can I tell you about lossless right lossless cut obviously like you can see it's got a lot they have lots of stuff they talk about lossless cutting of most videos and audio formats rearrange uh, the order of videos and segments you can uh, give labels to cut segments like we did you can customize keyboard hotkeys even <clears throat> and then you know they talk about cutting out commercials from recorded tv shows right uh, quickly cut a file um, into its chapters change the language of files audio subtitle tracks right so you can actually take the the you know anyways yeah you can do all sorts of different things it's a pretty cool tool and it's free and it's quick as you saw it's faster than other tools to actually show you know the image I mean this is like really fast going like this right it's like most tools don't let you click around it takes a few seconds before the actual preview of the page of where you are and the video shows up right so I'm not sure how they do that so quickly uh, compared to other tools <coughs> and uh you know like over here you can choose whether you're merging and merging separate and chapters only you can choose the uh, output format right here as well um there's a keep audio or delete the audio right out of the video then there is uh, what else can we do down here there's split segment at cursor that's uh, down here if I'm over here I can say split segment at cursor it just basically splits please move cursor over the split segment you want to split I'm not sure what that means maybe I have to be on top of this oh uh, yeah it creates two different videos here it makes it two segments see right there article one article two so if I control z it'll undo that split right but any place I'm at if I go here and I go like that right I'm splitting up these different pieces they all show the different colors as you can see as I go right it's kind of cool that it lets you shows it like that right and so all these pieces show up right here and of course as you can see these ones have LinkedIn posts LinkedIn groups LinkedIn article but these ones don't have labels yet so I could you know label them right and then when I export them they'll have the file name whereas if I don't these ones will have a file name <clears throat> I wonder if I let's just do it I want to see what it looks like if I just click on this name here and preview you'll see how these ones say you know seg four five six seven they don't have a label because I didn't give them a label right that's kind of what it, it would look like which might be okay you might not need to worry about putting labels on them right if you're if you're just splitting up pieces and then you can look at the pieces what they are but you know if you're going to be creating lessons for a course you probably want to know what the topics are about right so that's what this is this is all about so you know you can do lots of really quick editing of, of videos and stuff using this lossless cut tool it's really quick really fast to give you what you need out of a longer video it's really like very very quick as you can see it's going like really fast showing up the screen right away of what it is just you know really quick right so anyway so that's what lossless cut is all about it lets you do these uh, cuts of videos so you can have separate lesson videos that are cut out of a longer video really quickly really easily and I hope that this helped you a little bit and if you have any questions you can always reach out so until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.